What's going on everyone? In this video I'm going to be showing you a demonstration of CyanogenMod Mod 9 Final release, this is the most stable it's going to get uh, For the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE for the Rogers network And for the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for the AT&T network uh, This ROM is compatible with both because Rogers and AT&T use the same cell phone frequencies to get a cell phone signal uh, So, to prove I'm actually running it System settings About phone Okay, uh, even though I'm running the Rogers version, you'll see that I have i727, not i727R. Um, that's because this ROM is compatible with the Skyrocket and the Rogers version of the Galaxy S2, like I mentioned. So it, the fact that it's missing an R and I'm running a Rogers version, not a big deal. Android 4.0.4 and Cyanogen Mod 9.0.0 Skyrocket. This is the final build of Cyanogen Mod 9, and the reason they said they're going to do that. As you can see, it's the end of the line for the ice cream sandwich branch, which I highlighted. Uh, it's because they're focusing on Cyanogen Mod 7, which is gingerbread, I assume for older devices, that can't handle ice cream sandwich and newer. And of course, they're going to jump to uh, development of Cyanogen Mod 10. So the biggest question people will have is, okay, now we got Cyanogen Mod 9, a final stable version for our Galaxy S2. What about Cyanogen Mod 10, which is based off Jelly Bean? My answer to that is, I have no clue. Um, I'm in the same boat as you guys. It would be really nice if I get it too, but as of right now, there's no word because they're gonna probably just pour out uh, stable versions for like the Nexus series because they're probably easier to develop for. However, uh, the most wanted feature is of course Google Now, which I have a full working version for Ice Cream Sandwich. Google. How tall is Steve Nash? Steve Nash is 6 feet 3 inches tall. Okay, so as you can see, I do have Google Now up and running with voice. Uh, there will be a demonstration video for this uh, at the ending of this video with an annotation link. Um, I'm not going to get into in instructions and installation on how to do that for this video. This is a demonstration of Simon Jamod 9. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, with the reason I, I, I'm making a video of the stable version, even though I made a, a video of the release candidate just a week ago, is because within that one week, CyanogenMod has released the stable version. To be honest, there's next to no difference. Um, I am running the Rogers version, as I said. Uh, for, for your phone to be compatible, I'll put the exact model number for the AT&T and Rogers version in the description. Make sure your phone matches that, then you'll know if you can actually use it or not. Uh, the camera app that comes with it, as with the release candidate, pictures you can take are fine, but when you record a video, even if it's at 720p or 1080p, you might not see it right now, but whatever I'm seeing in here, the preview is really blurry, even though the quality right now is set to what, 720p. Um, oops, what's going on here? I'm not sure why that is, I, I don't know what's causing it, however, be, be aware that when you record, and you play it back, the video is crystal clear. Only the preview is blurry. And I was able to get past that problem fully this time by using a third party app called Camera Ice Cream Sandwich. I'll put a link for this in the description below. It works exactly like it's supposed to, exactly like how the Ice Cream Sandwich camera is, which is this. It's identical to the CyanogenMod 9 camera, however, it doesn't give me the blur effect when recording a video. The other major problem, as with the um, release candidate 2, is the gallery is kind of broken when it comes to playing videos. Where is my gallery? Here we go. And So when it comes to... No, that's not right. When it comes to... Where are you? Videos that were put on my camera, recorded with my camera prior to Cyanogen Mod 9, they won't play at all. Uh, it's a really a hit and miss. I was able to get past this problem completely by using another third party app called MX Player. Again, I'll put a link for the free version of the app in the description below so you can download it. Try it if you like it, then get the pro version. Um, so yeah. So those two problems do get past it completely. Uh, the gallery works fine for viewing pictures. Now, remember, I'm running the Rogers version of the Galaxy S2. I'm not sure if AT&T users will be affected by it. Most likely they will. Um, feel free to let me know if you're an AT&T user and you have these two issues in this in the comment section, and then I'll update the description saying, yeah, okay, at t users have reported this is still a problem or not. Um, so yeah, there, there are two problems you can get around. Video playing, just use MX Player, it's free. 
and the camera app, even though it records fine, the preview is really blurry. Again, I got around that by simply using the camera ice cream sandwich app. Uh, so, to be honest, it's fully stable other than that. You have a power widget at the top, if the camera will focus. Well, you get the gist of it. Wi-Fi, a mobile data connection on off, stuff like that. You can customize it by simply going to the phone settings, system, uh, notification drawer, and then from here you can select which indicators you want up there, um, widget buttons. So as you can see, this is what I have. You can customize it, select whatever you want here. You can change the order of it by widget button order. You can drag it, move it up and down. Of course, you can change the actual status bar. You can turn the battery percentage on and turn the icon off instead. You can have, uh, I think there's something like how strong the signal is in numbers instead of the uh, neon blue bars, stuff like that. Um, what else can I show you? Of course, it comes with the stock ice cream sandwich launcher that will come with the Galaxy Nexus. And I'll show you more of the settings because that's where the good chunk of stuff is. You can customize the launcher, the draw animation, the home screen animation, uh, orientation you can turn on and off. I'm not going to get into too much details because this it will make the video really, really long. Lock screen you can customize with co custom uh, app opening commands. Uh, you can customize it with like your own background, like a wa wallpaper for the lock screen. You can turn the phone on by simply pressing the volume buttons. You don't have to tap the power button. Uh, themes. There are hundreds if not thousands of themes available on the internet, most likely on the XDA forums. And basically what themes do is like say, here at the top you have like a blue uh, neon ice cream sandwich coloring. If you download say something that's called like a, a, a lime theme, it'll probably change these colors into a lime color. Usually people have previews of what the theme will do, so you can customize your Android system even further, even changing the colors and the font here. Uh, system I pretty much showed you and now a really neat feature um, for older Android devices especially Samsung devices there used to be a notification LED light somewhere at the top here and what basically will happen is if you miss a call a text or a message of any kind from any app or even an email there will be a notification light that will blink up here saying hey you got something that you missed turn on your screen and look at what it is Nowadays, even with this device, you don't get a no notification LED light. And I don't know why, because I really miss that feature. I hate having to turn on my screen every single time um, I come back to my phone. It's lying on my desk to see, okay, did I miss a call or not? And no, I didn't. So what the Sanjama team did is whenever you miss a call, text, email, blah, 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 whatever, these LED lights here, your menu button, home button, etc., will light up solid white. And then it'll blink. It'll blink saying, yo, you got something you missed, you gotta turn your screen on and see what you missed. So the screen won't turn on, but these lights will, just like this. And it didn't turn on. Okay, I guess I gotta change that function. <laughs> That's really embarrassing, but I'll leave it in the video because it's kind of funny. But you guys know what I mean. There we go, now it's working. It's supposed to light up like it just did and it'll start blinking, that's not your phone messing up, it's just telling you that, yo, you gotta miss call, miss text, or something, just like that, okay? So it's a really neat feature. Um, you, you get the, you know, gist of it, it's just like running a Galaxy Nexus, but on the Galaxy S2, which in my opinion has a much superior camera, so it's a overall win. Again, fixing the video playback problem in the gallery, just use MX Player as a default app to launch video files in Android, which is, I'll give you the link for the free version, you can download the Pro if you want, which has no ads, and Camera Ice Cream Sandwich, replace it with your stock camera, it works exactly as it should with the Cyanogen Mod ROM, uh, put a link for the free versions, and if you like, you can download the Pro version with ha that has no ads, the ads aren't that big, not a big deal, but if you're going to donate, go ahead and donate and get the paid version. So that's pretty much it, um, great ROM, stable, everything works great, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, voice calls. Bluetooth, I've noticed that it works phenomenal compared to the uh, Sky Ice Cream Sandwich ROM based off the AT&T Ice Cream Sandwich ROM and it works better than the official Rogers Ice Cream Sandwich ROM. The Bluetooth quality when making calls has just improved significantly. When calling my fiance and she's on her Bluetooth at the same time, uh, there used to be a lot of problems with static and error, not with Cyanogen Mod 9. So it's got its hits and misses, but overall great for daily use. 
Uh, I hope you found that video useful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, or check out my website in the description below. And thanks for watching.